Hello, Earth and Fire Signs, my loves. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, and subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Yes, I do. And if you'd like to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit the description box down below. So, singles for the month of June. Mm, mm, mm. Spirit, you are welcome into this reading. All right, for my fire signs and my earth signs, we're going to see how you can improve the challenges and who's coming towards you, all right? Possible outcomes and what? Nah, all right? So, here we go, babies. I'm going to start out with my fire signs and then earth, okay? So, how to improve is a trusted situation. It's calling for you to have faith, baby. All right, and some of you all definitely just need to take care of yourself is what I'm seeing here. So, Nine of Coins has been coming out. So let's see how you can improve fire signs for the month of June. Ooh, okay. So I see here with the Nine of Coins that you're definitely needing some sort of happiness, all right? For some of you all, you could be in isolation, period, is how you improve. You could be needing to uh, take time for yourself and think about some things is what I'm seeing here. Now, also with the Nine of Cups, it's definitely a situation where your happiness is what needs to improve most of all. Okay, getting your way with this Nine of Cups and also with the Ten of Cups that just came out. So I definitely see here that your overall happiness, your emotional stability, okay, your awareness to your happiness and who is helping you. Become aware. Who is that light of your life? Okay, fire signs. So, <laughs> I'm definitely seeing here where you can improve is your emotional happiness, emotional stability, okay? Letting go of things, not really feeling like it's always a sacrifice or there's always something that you have to uh, be in control of, okay? Now, I am seeing here how you can improve is definitely trying to let go of those illusions or let go of someone who could be feeling like they're pulling your strings, all right? So this could be you that makes yourself feel like you're pulling your strings, all right? So also I'm seeing here for some of you fire signs, there's definitely a situation where someone is wanting a new beginning, okay? Or the new start just isn't quite coming in, coming in the way that you would hope for it to be, okay? Or there's definitely some sort of rebirthing that you're waiting on, okay? That's what I'm seeing here is how you could improve for sure. It could be that, you know, there's a restart or some spontaneity that you need to add some, uh, some, new, just some new shit, okay? Just making it pop off is what I'm seeing here. Being able to bring your essence and your vibe and, you know, really vibing overall. Um, not feeling like things are all the way, you know, and not in your favor, okay? So I do see here, for some of you fire signs, that the challenge uh, could be that there's a lot of tricky energy or someone just feels like there's a lot of things up their sleeve or you're just right now in manifestation mode, okay? Making yourself conscious and aware and working hard and diligently, okay, is how I see this challenge. Some of you all could be working at your job, all right, and things really aren't able to take off or set off how you want to because you're so involved in working here is what I'm seeing with the eight of coins. But uh, there also could be the challenges of, you know, having so many things in the air that you're, you know, some of you all could be uh, into the occult as well with this magician here. You could be a magician is what I'm seeing. The challenge could be a right fire signs. It could be that someone um, definitely knows that you are a manifester here right now. What the challenges could be with the five of swords that there's some sort of loss or you feel like you could be taking a loss towards building something, especially with this emperor energy. So I feel like the challenge could be that you've just kind of laid down your swords and you're also coming into a healing period where you can, all you can do is go from bottom to up. All right. That's what I'm seeing here is the challenges for some of you all. 
I'm definitely seeing that there could be a situation that you're just going to have to call. Uh, you're just going to have to lay your burdens down. Give it, you know, it, it, the calling is here. Something is shouting out to you. Your healing, okay? So, I'm definitely seeing here in your challenges, it could be some movement with this chariot energy. Some of y'all could be having car troubles. But I am seeing here with this Five of Cups energy that someone, and also with the Five of Swords, someone is definitely feeling really bad or they just feel like things are going to be at a loss. They're going to have to turn their back on the situation. So that's the reason why you could be single, honey, is that you just keep turning your back. You know, you feel like things are just shitty. So if you exude that, then you're definitely going to get that back from the universe. But if you, you know, set in your affirmations and make things uh, a little bit more easier, easier and smoother for you, it will come into fruition. So speak it into existence is what I'm seeing here for you fire signs. All right. So let's see who's coming towards you fire signs. Okay, so I definitely feel like it's a lot of anxiety here. Someone could be like having their own mental blockages, all right? So try to avoid um, limiting your behavior or the way that you present yourself to people try to limit feeling that those sad feelings you know and also i'm seeing here who's coming towards you is someone from the past possible gemini libra aquarius all right could be definitely some communication in the workings happening for you all right will of fortune energy here could be uh something that's turning in your favor all right, with this will of fortune here, could be through communication, but I am seeing here that there's definitely going to be some sort of karmetic cycle. Now, with this will of fortune, I'm kind of getting that there could be a, a destiny or a turning point or some sort of movement that's happening. All right, but you're trying to avoid the struggle with the five of spears. All right, is what I'm seeing here, which I wouldn't want to struggle neither. For some of you all, I'm definitely seeing that you could be uh, trying to avoid uh, leaving away from an old situation. But I do see here that someone could be stuck in their feelings. You have the Six of Swords energy. But on the flip side, you have the Sun energy here and also the Seven of Coins. So I'm feeling like there's something that you're starting to see clear that, you're, that you could have invested in or that you could have uh, you know, grown to see how it was going to bloom. All right. For some of you all, there could be third party situations um, that you're dealing with. There could be a message of some sort for some of you all, but there could be some piercing information or some piercing news you guys might receive in the month of June. But I am seeing here that there could be um, someone who just feels like they have to leave away or someone just feels like they have to turn their back on a situation. That's what's coming towards you. But I am seeing here that there's a lot of toxicity as well with third parties. So you could be on a dating app, you could be dating people, but there's definitely a lot of threes here. So keep in mind, um, yeah, keep in mind that there could be third party situations going on. I'm also seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of sex, possibly just sex. All right. Not really any type of relationship. And you're going to be in two minds because of this materialism or this bondage that you have with the devil. All right. So for some of you all, some could be married with this four of spears and also the three of cups. So definitely be aware that this person could be married or there could be a third party situation involved is what I'm seeing here. Bottom of the deck, knight of swords. OK. And also the two of cups. So be aware, fire signs, this person doesn't necessarily have to be married, but they could always already be in a commitment. OK, so. For the month of June, trust your heart, darling. Okay, one more romance angel. Free yourself and to take back control in your life. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. -mm. So free yourself from the bullshit. All right. And then start fresh and start over. Okay, fire sign. So. Could be having a lot of options coming your direction too. So definitely be aware of that seven of cups. 
fire signs. All right, my earth signs. Let's see what's going down, babies, for the month of June. Let's see what's going on. How you can improve and your challenges and who's coming towards you. All right, I see a lot of hermetic energy with this hermit energy, my loves, for the month of June. So let's see. All right, finances and career. Finance, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay. So for some of you all, finances in your career could be at the just of everything, earth signs. Okay, or making that money. So, let's see how you can improve. Singles. There we go. All right. So, there definitely could be some sort of communication or some movement is what I'm seeing here. It could be uh, someone who's at a distance. Uh, it's definitely how you could be improving. Bringing things together again. You have the Wheel of Fortune. So I'm definitely feeling with the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, there could be a destiny that you need to improve on or a turning point that you're going through that's causing a lot of movement happening for you, all right? Or the movement could be going so fast that you're trying to improve things and let it catch up. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? And also, it could be that there's some loyalty or you could be moving too slow with this Knight of Coins. Uh, somebody who is loyal and takes their time to do things, all right? His horse ain't really going nowhere, okay? So for some of you all, you could be feeling like you're kind of stuck and ain't really going nowhere, but you can't go somewhere, okay? It's how I see you improving. I definitely see here that there could be some deception or taking too much time away from a situation, all right? Could be a, it could be a new spark energy here, too. So you have the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Spears. For the month of June, my loves, how you could improve is it could be a new sexual energy, a new spark. But I'm definitely seeing you could be taking time away from your, for, away from things. You also could be uh, lying to yourself about how you should improve. Earth signs. Or you could be just, you know, feeling deceptive overall that people could be de deceiving you. You could be ready to pull out your swords at any moment. All right? That's what I'm seeing here. And also making an action with this Queen of Spears. Okay, for some of you all, how you could improve uh, would be to make an action or to get up and leave, okay, to leave away from the situation or to go to, baby, is what I'm seeing here. A lot of fiery action, all right? So, your challenges. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Okay. You got the King of Cups energy here. So it could be your emotions. It could be that you're really not invested in certain things that you know it causes emotional conflict. All right. You might not be able to speak on it all the time, but you want to speak up on it is what I'm seeing here with the King of Cups. Just seems like it's kind of like an empty emotion sometimes is what I'm seeing with the challenges and gaining some sort of clarity with the Sun card here. Okay, and with that sun energy, it could be some vitality, right? The sun does bring back life, is what I'm seeing here. So you could be trying to, you could either be blinded by the sun or it could bring back a lot of vitality, is what I'm seeing here, all right, is your challenge. Now, three of sword energy and also the ten of spears. Your challenges could be that there's a lot of burdens and issues, third party situations surrounded by you as well. So I definitely see here uh, that the challenge could be that there's a restart or recycle that happens continuously with a third party situation or somebody's an interference with a third party situation is what I'm seeing here. Also with the three of coins, a lot of threes so far. So it could be third party, third parties. I'm definitely seeing here um, what your challenge is, is it could be that there's uh, something that you haven't quite built up yet to have these, you know, uh, functioning um, buildings and, and functioning. Uh, I don't know what the fuck this is. Really, it looks like a a ladder course or something. But it looks like it's a uh, a lot of um, difficulties that was made to build 
build it to make that third party situation balance. Okay. So I'm definitely seeing here for your uh, challenges that there could be a third party situation. That's an interference of how you built up some things. Okay. Or how you could be building towards some things. So it could be a person in your outside influence, but I am seeing here with the page of cups, um, could be some messages as well. All right. Some messages of love could be dealing with some tricky energy where you feel like, uh, this person is not really honest or isn't being truth telling. All right. Leaving you out in the dark or I'm definitely seeing it in two ways. That there could be a manifestation that you feel needs to take place, but you're also needing to uh, analyze what it is that you are wanting overall. You know, it's kind of like you're in two minds about whether or not it's going to be something that's going to be magical or if it's going to be something long term, you know, things of that nature. Just really having yourself in split in two different ways is what I'm seeing here. Our side. So for the month of June. I am seeing what's coming towards you is there's definitely someone who needs to block themselves or there's definitely a situation where you're needing to like these make these barriers come down. Now, for some of you, there could be a home situation or family foundation that you guys are dealing with that you first need to take care of. But I am seeing here that there could be a situation where there's a back and forth travel, possibly with the Ten of Coins. Okay. For some of you all, I am seeing that there's definitely an action or some immature action that's going to be taking place with the Page of Spears and also the Tower energy. So it could be a sudden change that's going to happen, or it could be someone who's younger than you, all right, who could be emerging and coming towards you, all right, someone that you kind of feel stuck towards anyway. This person could be surrounded by you and your business or they could, you, they could be in your work situation or scenario. That's who's coming towards you. Could be that you have your own business or that you're working hard towards a situation. You're just kind of wanting your ships to come in. Let's see what this was. Page of Swords, baby. So somebody could be spying, all right? They could be checking you out under the surface, all right? Could be checking your Facebook page out. But I'm definitely seeing what's coming towards you is that there's... Uh, Someone who you haven't quite, they haven't quite revealed themselves. All right. Could be that you've been in isolation period so long that you could be, you know, just really like iced out and icing people out and shit. Being uh, Elsa, the ice queen. But I do see here with the ace of cups, I mean, the ace of coins, that there could be an opportunity through money. Okay. That you guys could be making a final decision, especially with the seven of cups coming in reverse. So it could be final decision, my loves, for the month of June that someone could be making an action towards you. So try to get out of the house with the world energy and make some accomplishments, baby. All right. So if you'd like to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit the description box down below. And check out my website, LaRoseMoon.com. And you can email me for personal reads at LaRoseBanks at gmail.com. All right, babies. See you in the next video. Peace.